Imagine living in a future where automobiles have the ability to fly and the air is constantly filled with vehicles racing past one another while deftly gliding through the air. This prediction of the future has been a mainstay of science fiction for a very long time. But, as a result of the rapid development of technology, it is now gradually becoming a reality. The idea of flying automobiles, also known as personal aerial vehicles, has been around for decades. However, recent advancements in engineering, battery technology, and artificial intelligence have made the possibility of their creation significantly more likely than it was in the past. This video will take you on a journey into the realm of highways in the sky and cover all you need to know about the potential for flying automobiles in the future. The Development of Flying Cars Since the early part of the 20th century, people have been pondering the concept of flying vehicles, with the oldest reported concept dating all the way back to 1917. However, it was not until the 1940s that the concept received a lot of attention in the scientific community. In the 1940s and 1950s, engineers and inventors started experimenting with flying automobiles, but most of the time, these flying cars were impracticable, expensive, and unsafe. The Waterman Aerobile, which was built in 1937, is recognized as the first flying car that was genuinely able to take flight. However, it was not until the 1960s that flying cars began to emerge as a serious contender for the role of a practical method of transport. In the 1960s, engineers started developing flying cars that could take off and land vertically, using either rotors or thrusters as propulsion systems. The Mahler M400, which was developed in the 1990s, is considered to be one of the most remarkable specimens from this time period. The Mahler M400 was a personal vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that had a range of over 400 miles and was capable of reaching speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. However, in the end, the project was not successful because of worries regarding safety and problems with regulations. New Developments In recent years, there has been a resurgence in interest in flying automobiles and a number of corporations and startups are currently working on the development of personal aerial vehicles that are both practical and secure. The advancement of battery technology is one of the primary causes that is driving this renaissance. This progress has made it feasible to power electric motors that are both efficient and quiet at the same time. In addition, developments in materials science have made it possible to create structures that are both lightweight and sturdy both of which are essential for attaining effective flight. Several firms, including Uber, Airbus, and Lilium, have already produced prototypes of flying cars that are able to perform their intended functions. The City Airbus is a multipurpose, electric, and modular aircraft developed by Airbus specifically for use in congested urban areas. German company Lilium has designed an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that is capable of speeds of up to 250 miles per hour and has a range of more than 300 miles. The mechanism behind flying cars. In order to achieve flight, flying automobiles may employ a number of different methods, each of which is unique to their design and intended function. The vast majority of personal autonomous vehicles make use of electric motors that are powered by lithium-ion batteries, which are not only effective but also favorable to the environment. Others utilize thrusters, which are more analogous to jet engines, while others utilize rotors, which are more analogous to helicopters. The problem of lift presents one of the most serious obstacles in the way of the development of flying cars. In order to get off the ground, Flying automobiles need to create upward force, which they can do with rotors, thrusters, or a mix of the two. Stability and control present even another obstacle, as they necessitate the use of complex software and sensors in order to achieve and sustain steady flight. When it comes to flying automobiles, obviously safety is one of the primary concerns. Backup batteries, motors, and communication systems are just examples of the various redundancies that manufacturers are adding to their designs in order to address concerns about product safety. In addition, flying cars will be outfitted with cutting-edge sensors and artificial intelligence algorithms to identify and steer clear of obstructions, as well as to keep a safe distance from other aircraft in the air. Infrastructure and Regulatory Requirements 
As flying vehicles transition from a novelty to a mainstream mode of transportation, significant infrastructure development and regulatory guidelines will need to be established to support their use. Areas dedicated to landing and takeoff will allow flying cars to transition between air and road travel seamlessly. These vertiports will function similarly to helipads but on a larger scale to accommodate higher volumes of air traffic. Strategically located charging stations will enable electric flying vehicles to recharge their battery packs quickly before long flights. Centralized maintenance and repair depots will be needed as well to perform scheduled maintenance checks, handle breakdowns, and complete larger overhauls when needed. Cities and local governments will have to update existing zoning laws and construction codes to safely integrate vertiports and related facilities. Where and how high buildings can be built may require adjustment to ensure appropriate clearance around flight paths. Noise regulations may need revising if engines improve but flying cars remain louder than most vehicles. Rigorous airworthiness certification of each flying vehicle model covering structural integrity, redundant systems, and maximum passenger and cargo capacity will be vital. Ongoing compliance rules for recurring inspections and part replacements are also important. Flight rules addressing permissible routes, minimum altitudes, right-of-way protocols, and payloads can help prevent collisions and allay public fears. Remote identification technologies may be required for enforcement and emergency response. Governments and the private sector can work collaboratively to build the infrastructure and regulations necessary for flying cars to evolve from science fiction to a mainstream mode of affordable, and most importantly, safe transportation in both urban and rural settings. Influence on the environment. Flying cars could significantly help reduce environmental impacts compared to traditional vehicles if designed and implemented properly. One key benefit is their potential to lower carbon emissions at large scales. Transitioning from gas-powered cars that are often stuck in traffic to electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles that can avoid congestion would curb pollution in urbanized areas. Their ability to travel above traffic also means flying automobiles don't contribute to road congestion. This offers environmental and public health advantages. Idling in traffic jams wastes fuel and causes stop and go driving that emits more carbon than free-flowing traffic. Reduced road usage from some drivers switching to flying modes could help alleviate pollution from vehicle emissions trapped near ground level. Less infrastructure for roads and parking may also enable more sustainable land use over the long run. Repurposing large parking facilities or shrinking wide highways could open new opportunities for green space, nature reserves, or dense urban development supported by alternative transport modes. However, these benefits depend on flying vehicles being predominantly electric, safely operated, and regulated to minimize noise impacts. Significant challenges around battery life cycles, aviation fuel needs, and integrating these novel aircraft into the national airspace system must also be addressed to ensure true environmental wins. Overall, well-managed adoption could significantly help decarbonize transport if accompanying sustainable energy transition. Noise pollution. One of the drawbacks of flying cars is the potential increase in ambient noise. Concerns regarding noise levels have been expressed as a result of the likelihood of having flying cars zooming overhead in addition to the notoriously loud nature of traditional helicopters. However, because of recent advancements in engine technology, today's flying vehicles are designed to operate at a far lower decibel level than conventional helicopters. Some flying vehicles have electric motors, which are almost completely noiseless while others have mufflers and other sound dampening materials to keep the level of noise to a minimum. Affordability and ease of access. Flying vehicles are currently a pretty pricey means of transportation, and it is possible that not everyone will have access to them. There is a good chance that the cost of purchasing and keeping a flying car will be far more than the cost of a conventional automobile. Furthermore, there may be additional charges related to the cost of fueling, maintaining, and insuring the vehicle. In addition, driving a flying automobile may call for specific training or licensure, which may be out of reach for many individuals. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.